Growing up, John Farley had a nightmare for a PE teacher. You are a disgrace to fat, gelatinous, out of shape little kids the world over. Getting on. Farley, don't you even think about letting go. Which helped him become the self-help author that he is today. I read all your books. All I did was give you the raft. You had to inflate it yourself. You are so amazing. But when he goes back home... Hey, Mom. Yeah. You look great. Thanks. I have a date. That's fantastic. Oh. He's really sweet. Hello, honey. Mr. Woodcock. <laughs> He's going to need all the self-help he can get. So what's your book about? Well, it teaches people how to release painful memories so they can rebuild their self-esteem. A lot of losers out there, I guess. Now, it's time to heal the wounds. No way in hell this guy's gonna run me out of my own house. Last time I checked, Chief, you don't live here anymore. Ow! Ow! It's John! What are you doing? Oh, it's dark. Instinct took over. What about when I said it's me? It's John. John's a very common name. There could be a burglar named John. Feel the love. You're going down, old duck. You must like getting spanked, Farley. I guess it runs in the family. And set your boundaries. I'm gonna break them up. What about your book, Chapter 4? Respect other people's boundaries. Do you have the book with you? I'm sick of the book, man. I can't take it anymore. I wrote it, okay? It's a bunch of crap. Billy Bob Thornton, Sean William Scott, and Susan Sarandon. Do you remember when I used to come home crying every day after school? Oh. Good hands. Take a lap. Lose the asthma. It was Mr. Woodcock. Yeah, well, I take a healthy interest in the kids. It serves them well later in life. Mr. Woodcock. 